and you know that this is a matter that we've been following for you. In the Ashanti region, the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly is going all out to attempt to halt the fast-spreading Delta variant in that part of the country. The Municipal Assembly is, among other things, deploying the security agencies onto the streets to enforce adherence to the social distancing protocols as well as the mask-wearing protocols and all the other COVID protocols that have been stipulated by the Ghana Health Service. My colleague, Ibrahim Abubakar, has been sitting through that particular press engagement. He's joining us for the latest. Ibrahim, beyond the uh, deployment of security agencies to enforce the wearing of masks and, you know, adherence to all these other protocols, what more is the assembly doing to tackle the fast-spreading virus? Well, for now the Regional Security Council is also urging various assemblies to intensify education and awareness creation because if we can recall last week uh, we saw that police has already been deployed in the central business district to enforce the wearing of and so currently when we move to um, the central business district at least the compliance with rate is a bit on the higher side but when you move to the various communities that's where the issues are. People have disregarded all the protocols. That's why this time now they want to decentralize the system. Now they want the MMDCs to come in and collaborate with the various security agencies and enforce the compliance. Because um, in Ashanti region, just April 11, we had just 87 active cases. But the last time we um, took some figures from the Ghana Health Service that you like that one. We have 1,253 cases, and this, according to RECSEC, is quite worrying. Um, the regional minister has been speaking to the media lessons in what we have been doing this. Of the new variant, that is the Delta variant, Ashanti region has seen a very sharp passage in the number of cases. Because of this, it has become necessary to tighten the enforcement of the various COVID protocols within the region. And the security agencies are going to ensure that we abide by or we observe all the COVID protocols. We are urging all the metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives to join hands with the respective security councils to undertake the following. One, ensure mandatory wearing of face masks in all communities. Two, provide Veronica backers at public places, including markets, lorry parks, and health centers. Make public announcements to increase awareness of the new wave and the need to enforce the protocols. And also, enforce all restrictions on public gatherings as spelled out in the President's 20 C's address to the nation on the COVID situation. So we had there the Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osemensa speaking. And Ibrahim, before I let you go, he, he didn't say exactly, for example, if sanctions were applied to individuals who are caught flouting these protocols. Did that come up at all? Well, um, he mentioned it, especially um, um, for the commercial vehicles. So now what he's telling um, drivers of commercial vehicles and even their conductors is that um, they should make sure that people put in the nose masks before they enter uh, into the vehicle. Because when the police stops you and even they find one person without nose masks, they will have to bring down all the passengers um, on board. Then they will arrest both the driver, the conductor, and the person um, who um, has flouted that directive. And the police will have to handle it from that. So um, basically, they are saying that they will allow the police to take the law um, to court. So if you flout it, then the law will definitely do it. Thank you, Ibrahim Abubakar is my colleague in the Ashanti region. They're joining us. Let's do 